We asked you to come here for a couple of days and stay for a while, do some learning, take it back home. So number two, to have your best year ever, a good piece of that 400 million, make your dreams come true. Number one, get serious. Number two, get smart. Develop your own personal philosophy here. Philosophy, major determining factor in how your life works out. Each person's philosophy is like the set of the sail. The same wind blows on us all. The difference in where we arrive at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the year is not the wind that blows. And the wind is blowing around the world. The world is in solution. Things are a changing. The walls have come down. All kinds of things are happening. In Russia tonight, today, the winds are blowing. But what's going to make the major difference? Each person's personal philosophy that sets a better sail, sets a better sail. So don't ask for a more favorable wind. That's like wishing something that's not going to occur. Don't ask for better seed and soil. All you got's what's available. Don't curse what you got. On this planet, all we got's the seed that's here, the soil that's here. The miracle of life that's here, the opportunity that's here, the seasons that are here, that's all we got. Wherever you come from in your country, the economy you got, that's all you got. In America, our economy, that's all we got. The government, that's all we got. The marketplace, that's all we got. Whatever you do, don't criticize all you got. The key is to set a better sail and turn what you've got into the miracle of your future. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems wish for more skills and that's the reason for coming here spending a couple of days of intense effort taking notes rolling up your sleeves going to work commit yourself to learning so that you can get smarter for the days ahead develop your philosophy herbalite's philosophy has carried it now these 12 years to extraordinary heights those that do the work get the pay a philosophy that commits itself to having the finest no matter what it costs that kind of philosophy i'm asking you to develop your own personal philosophy Get your business philosophy going. Get your financial plan going. Don't violate the conclusions of your own philosophy by not executing and taking action. But that's number two, get smart. Here's number three, get going. As smart as you might become after these two days, as many ideas as you take away from here, they're truly, as Larry mentioned, like seeds to be planted in the soil. You gotta get going, you gotta take action. The disciplines is the miracle process. And here's how to get the miracle of your future going as far as disciplines are concerned. Number one, do what you can. And here's a key here. Communicate. Don't leave it unsaid. If somebody's got some congratulations coming, don't fail to congratulate them. If a distributor has got a word of praise coming, don't fail to give it. Don't fail to say it. Don't fail to say it. Find the best words you can. Struggle with the best words you can. Borrow some words if you have to. I borrow all kinds of words. Winston Churchill one time said, truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it and ignorance may deride it, but in the end, there it is. See, I love to borrow that. I mean, you know, that's better said than I could say it. You see, that's well said. You could stay up all night and not think of that. I mean, that's well said. I'm asking you to borrow the words that have come from this platform, borrow the words that have come from the top 10, borrow the words that have come from the distributors who have shared so eloquently with you, borrow their words, borrow their notes, but then I'm asking you to start choosing the best words you can. We want you to get good at these skills of communicating, skills of touching people's lives with words, touching their heart with words, helping them to see something they've never been able to see before by your words. Choose the best words you can. Don't fail with an opportunity to challenge yourself to choose good words. Search for the words. Struggle for the words. But don't let somebody within the scope of your influence go without your words. Words work miracles. Words can help people to see something they've never seen before. There's a lot of people you haven't got to yet, they can't see how they can possibly be healthy. And if you'll come along with your good words, you can turn on all the lights for them. They can't see how they can possibly be successful. And if you'll come along with your testimonial, that's why Herbalife is built on testimonials. Words that work, miracles, help people to see. And when you come along and tell your story, 
people are going to say, before you got here, I was blind. And now that you've talked to me, I can see. I can see the possibilities. I can see the opportunity. I can see that if I take a hold of this thing, I can change my life. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I'm asking you, don't miss the chance to work miracles with your words. Get excited about your possibility to work miracles with words. And now here's my last word to you, and I'm finished for this day. But let me give you this last one to make this your best year ever. Get away. Get away. Balance your life. Take care of your family. Take care of your responsibilities. Take care of your spirituality. Take care of good friendships. We've got to have some friends. That's why I'm here. I made these extraordinary friendships way back when. They've lasted all these years. Now got me an invitation to participate in something so extraordinary. This came about from a friendship. Now I had the skills. Somebody says, well, you know, they offered you millions and a chance here just because you were friends. No. You don't just offer your friends millions. No. They gotta have some skills. So I did bring skills, but I'm telling you, my chance to bring my gifts and my skills to you today was because I nourished these friendships over all these years. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again. And I did it again, and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared, and I did it when I didn't want to, and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well, and I didn't, did it when they didn't appreciate it, and I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage with the greatest introduction I've ever had, greatest response and welcome I've ever had, the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach. Until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger. Get better. We've all got those personal winters. Two hands and your attention. Number three, first. All right, folks. Yep. Um, 926. So New York Open opening bell in about four minutes and this is usually a wild card and sometimes it goes your way and other times it's just a big wick that doesn't necessarily make sense so ideally in this position if you're trading a live account you definitely want to have um, either your trades that break even or get out of the trade completely since I feel like being a rebel today <laughs> I'll do either. I'll, I'll neither. I mean, um, I'll just see what happens. You know, I, I am targeting these um, relative equal lows. It can happen in just like that, and it can also just take off. So it's one of those things. I actually love seeing them. Fair value gap in here. Institutional order flow entry drill potentially. Um, High frequency trading algorithms use this a lot, so it looks like a fair value gap. Essentially, kind of is. It's happening in um, ES also and Nasdaq, so something to watch. So I made it a point to take um, partials before the opening. Yeah. <laughs> And I actually like the fact that it is doing this. Um, it's doing it uh, three minutes before the opening bell, um, getting out short sellers. So overall, for my bias, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It took me out the trade, but seeing that they're taking price higher, I'm anticipating that they actually want to tank it. I may not be... Um, that may be incorrect. I mean, this thing can go higher if they want to, but in all likelihood, 
usually in situations like this, they'll take it lower at the open. So let's watch for that. And um, <laughs> I'm listening to some Jim Rohn. That's one of those things I do religiously for some reason. So don't mind. Learn how to handle the winter. Second, take advantage of the spring. Number three, in the summer, learn to nourish and protect. We've got some major challenges now come summertime. One is to nourish our values, take care of them, feed them. Don't let them go hungry. Don't let them go wanting in nourishment and care. And then here's something else we've got to do in the summer. Defend ourselves against the enemies. Summertime is a unique time. It's a time of opportunity. It's also a time of challenge. But what else is new? It's what life is called. The last six and a half thousand years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. Opportunity mixed with challenge. We've got a chance to grow like never before, but I'm telling you, there's going to be many enemies that's going to try to prevent us. As soon as you plant the garden, the busy bugs and the noxious weeds are out to take it, and you've got to learn not only to nourish your values, you've got to learn to do battle with your enemies. Whatever threatens you, I'm asking you to threaten it back. Take care of your responsibility, but don't take anything off of anybody. Somebody wants to destroy your chances for a good future by their negative talk, negative thinking, putting it all down, I'm telling you, walk away if you have to, walk away. Whatever threatens you, threaten it back. Whatever threatens your opportunity, threaten it back. Now, some of our enemies are on the outside. But here's the most important thing to understand. Some of our enemies are on the inside. Let me give you a quick list. Indifference. you got to do battle with your own indifference. Boy, it's easy to coast. Especially if you've accomplished something, you know, extraordinary now. Somebody says, i got to relax. Here's the key. Not too long. The weeds will take all you plant if you rest too long. Don't rest too long. Indecision. You got to make those decisions. The ones that don't turn out to be good gives you experience to make better decisions. Don't let much time go by without making some decisions. The ones that you can make quickly, make them quickly. The ones that take time, take your time. But get those decisions made. Don't let indecision be an enemy, rob you of the future, empty your bank account, leave you with zero in the purse. Don't let that happen. The next one is doubt. Sure, there's doubts on the outside. People doubt that America's going to make it. People doubt that Europe's going to make it. People doubt that Russia's going to make it. The Poland's going to make it. The Czechoslovakia's going to make it. They doubt the whole world. All right, so this rectangle right here was my original um, drawn liquidity. And I think there's relative equal lows. Yeah, so relative equal lows down here. And as you can see, it actually did tank. And the reason why I'm mainly trading um, the NASDAQ was because of the S&T divergence. So failed to make a higher high with um, ES. So this showed um, underlying weakness. So if I, if you want to go short, this is exactly the, the pair you want to be doing it in. One of those things I had to learn the hard way. Because I would still try to trade ES even though I knew the NASDAQ was would be a better short. And after getting my backside handed to me, <laughs> I finally submitted and decided, all right, I'll, I'll follow. So partial. And for some of you, going short in here is because I'm using that imbalance. It's, it's hard for me to even articulate. Um, I'm not gonna do ICT's job for him. I can't, I'm not gonna attempt to even teach his concepts, but this is one of those um, entries. You'll see ICT pull off. I've seen it so many times from him, and I, I would always wonder, how can he do it so well? But nowadays, um, it's, it's getting a bit easier to do something like this and to be so confident in it and see that reaction. and. It's, it's pretty cool, too, the fact that it's recorded, so I can always um, brag about that, I guess. But <laughs> So I'm taking partials here and before the drawn liquidity, so let me drag this. And I actually had a 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, this this is pretty good stuff, guys. And this is how we're um, heading into 2023. Um, been putting a lot a, a lot of work, and this is just a result of that. Um, <laughs> I actually like this trade, and it's only 9:30. There's gonna be see these relative equal highs up here. That might be a setup for around 10, 10 ish, 10 30 ish, or even PM session. I'm probably going to try to trade that. Why not? I um, think I have a couple paperwork to do for uh, the business. Uh, but outside of that, I'll, I'll try to um, capture another trade here just to show you guys what I'm working with. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, it's fun. It, it, it's fun doing this. It's fun trading, especially the fact that I get to post it on the channel too. I'm gonna tag ICT, see what he says about this. Hey, Michael. Um. So yeah, this was a uh, shorts on um the Nasdaq. There's a couple moving parts. I won't articulate. I won't attempt to teach, but. It's all ICT, man. This is all his stuff. And that entry was all him. And I've seen him pull it off. And I kind of understand why nowadays. I can't explain it, but I understand what he's doing. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a short one. I'm going to try to make more of these uh, this year. I'll still do, be doing um, the mind maps and the flow charts and stuff, but these I think um, a lot of traders want to see these executions, you know, buttons being pushed, and I don't mind pushing the buttons. It's actually pretty fun. So, hope you guys have a good day. I'm not done. I'm still going to look at the charts, get some more coffee, but for now, I'm just going to relax and play some chess.